everyone, and welcome back to my channel! You know guys, in the end of the last year, somewhere in December, I've decided that we should start the new year with something big, like literally big. That's why I went online and I've bought the biggest cool looking doll that exists at the moment at the doll market here in Belgium. Of course, you could see it already from the thumbnail that today we're going to repaint the giant rainbow high doll. Check it out, guys. Boom! Oh my god, this doll is giant. Doesn't really fit the screen. <clears throat> How are we supposed to film this video today? Yeah, wait. Yeah, like this is good probably. Yeah, you can see me, you can see the doll. So, this is the giant rainbow high doll. It looks exactly the same like regular rainbow high dolls, but yeah, it's very, very, very big. It's 24 inches or 60 centimeter tall. So yeah, it's a really big doll. Yeah, the box looks very cool. Here you can see this handle is very pretty, like all these details are very pretty. Here on the back you have this beautiful drawing. And by the way, this drawing is created by Lera Kiryakova. She's a Russian artist. I really love her style. As far as I understand, she doesn't design rainbow high dolls, but she creates these illustrations of already existing dolls for the boxes. So, I really love Lera, she's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful artist, I really love her style and I finished her course on digital drawing a couple of years ago, so I'm really happy to have also a piece of her artwork in my hands, because really she's an amazingly talented artist. So, the box is super pretty, here you can see everything that is in the box, 25 plus accessories it says, yeah. Let's probably open this box and let's take a closer look at this doll. So guys, this is the doll. I have finally set her free, so now we can take a closer look at her. And my first impression is that she has really beautiful long hair. It feels a little bit crispy from all these styling products, but I think it will be okay once I brush it off. But for the rest, her beautiful rainbow hair is really amazing. So guys, we're not going to change her hair today. First of all, because I just don't have this amount of hair in my studio, even if I use all the hair that I have here in my stock, like all kinds of textures, colors, length, all hair in my studio, it would anyway not be enough to replace her beautiful rainbow hair. That's why we're going to keep it like it is. It's beautiful enough. But anyway, I'm mostly interested in repainting her face because if you remember, I have already worked one time on a Rainbow High doll and that was a torture. Oh my God, guys, that was some suffering, not normal. I suffered with her eyes like hell. That was a real torture project. So today I'm really very excited, but at the same time, I'm super anxious about repainting her face and mostly about working on her eyes, but I really hope that it's gonna be better today than the first time so let's see how it's gonna go yeah and for the rest what else to say let's check the flexibility of her joints like yeah her elbows are bendable her hands here slightly bendable there is not that much flexibility in this joint uh, then yeah the upper part of her torso is also movable and her knees... Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it feels like I just broke someone's bone in someone's leg. Like, <laughs> can you hear the sound? I don't know. Gosh, and it re it's really tight. I have to really use all my power to do it. I don't know, is it a kid's toy? Because look, this joint... This joint is dangerous. It's, you know, I'm showing it now mostly to parents who would maybe potentially buy this doll to their kids because this place is dangerous. If you hold it like this and then crack <laughs> this leg again into the straight position, you're going to lose your finger here or at least you're going to like squeeze your skin here between the plastic and it's gonna hurt. So, yeah, in one hand I'm very happy 
that it works so good because you can see that her legs are really very well bendable but on the other hand this place is dangerous I don't know makers of rainbow high dolls somebody is gonna sue you for this some parents are really gonna sue you for this because this is dangerous <laughs> Jesus Christ yeah and for the rest uh, let's probably put on the close-up camera and let's take a look at all these accessories at all her outfit pieces there are also more accessories in the box so let's switch to another camera and let's take a closer look to this doll don't forget to subscribe here is a set of jewelry for a future little owner of the doll. I will not even take it out of the package. I will leave it like it is for a person who will buy this doll if I decide to sell it later. And I will need just the doll itself today. So let's remove her outfit and all these accessories piece by piece. And meanwhile we are going to check them out. First of all, she has this adorable handbag, really super cute, with a chain, with logos, really nice. There is some paper inside to help this bag hold its shape, so really cute. Then take a look at her cutest tiny hands with these painted nails and with the ring, really super pretty, absolutely adorable. The denim jacket looks very realistic with all these buttons, with the logo, with the stitching made with the rainbow thread. Everything is very, very detailed, very professional and very thoughtful, really top class. Then she has a white hoodie with a logo, also cute. Ah, and here is the first surprise. I didn't expect her to still have a top under the hoodie. And it's also very well made with the real embroidery, really nice. Then she has this belt that can also be used as a bracelet. The skirt is also super colorful, very detailed and it looks very original. Then she also has a pair of shoes and long socks. Love both of them. The shoes are very well made and very, very detailed as well. Ah, yeah, and here she still has the earrings. Okay, the doll is undressed, now let's take a look at her face because I'm really worried about her eyes, I really don't know what would be the best strategy in changing them, but first of all I want to know if I can remove the eyelashes. Nope, <laughs> I cannot, there is no way to remove her eyelashes. I find rainbow high doll eyes very very strange. 
On one hand, these are inserted eyes. But on another hand, they're not 3D, like the irises, the pupils, everything is simply painted on the inside of the see-through plastic. I feel like this is kind of a lost opportunity, because these eyes are inserted and painted on at the same time. Look, I have an eye of a regular size rainbow high doll, it has the same construction as these big eyes. I have opened it and you can see now that it's empty inside and the colorful part of her eyes is just a printed paper glued to the plastic. Ah, and here are the lashes glued inside, that's why I couldn't remove them, so yeah. I think I've got an idea how to improve her eyes, but first of all I'm going to remove her makeup with pure acetone. Okay, now I want to turn her 2D eyes into 3D eyes, and I'm going to start with making holes in her eyes using a Dremel tool. Oops, <laughs> I've got an accident here, guys. It's not the end of the world, I can make it smooth again. The only problem is that I will have to sand it, I don't know, for three hours probably, with a very, very fine sanding paper. Yeah, I could find a better way to spend this time, these three hours, but there is no choice, I guess, so I just have to fix this mistake. Whew, okay, the mistake has been fixed, it looks super perfect again, and now let's fill in the empty space inside of her eyes with epoxy sculpt, and I'm going to make like half spheres for the future irises inside. So this is how it looks 24 hours later, yeah, everything goes good so far. So now I can spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant to make the surface matte. And then I will start working on her skin tone using soft pastels.
When the skin looks mostly finished, I can start working on her eyes and first of all I will paint them with acrylics. These eyes are so huge that it's just easier to use paint instead of pencils. So first of all, I was going to give her blue eyes, as you can see, but then I thought that it would be really fun to give her rainbow eyes, because she had originally rainbow highlights in her eyes. Yeah, and what if we go for fully rainbow eyes this time, like a color wheel eyes? Let's try. Okay, I think I'm done with her face, she looks already super cute, very gentle, and now I want to make pupils out of thermoplastic, paint them black and then glue them into the eyes. And the most difficult part of this job is actually making two identical balls. And now let's fill in the irises with epoxy resin. I feel really super anxious right now, guys, because I perfectly remember how wrong it went with the previous doll. But yeah, normally I seal the eyes really nicely with Mr. Super Clear, so everything should be okay. I just have to do my best to avoid the bubbles in this resin. 
Well, and this is a disaster, guys. I can swear that I have removed all the bubbles from the resin before curing it. I put it under a lamp, and when the curing is over in one minute, I get bubbles. I don't know, after finishing the first tie, I thought I had been, I don't know, twice more careful with the second eye. And it ended up being a complete mess, even worse than the first one. I was really super careful. I can tell you honestly, I ended up crying. I, I really, I spent the last evening crying. Because I've been working on this doll already for 9 days, non-stop till 6 a.m. every day. Like, 12 hours per day. And then, at the finishing step, I get these absolutely uncontrollable bubbles. I don't know, my first intention was to throw it all out of the window and never touch dolls in my life anymore, but yeah. After sleeping the night, I came back to my studio and of course I continued working on it because I already bought the super pretty rainbow tool fabric with a silver sparkle and now I just want to make a super cute rainbow dress for her to continue the rainbow fantasy. I don't know, it's very upsetting, it's very disappointing, but what to do? Anyway, who cares about the bubbles in her eyes? You cannot see them even from a short distance. I still can make a pretty doll out of her. Anyway, I will not put this doll for sale, of course. But anyway, it's gonna be a cute doll and it was a very nice practicing for me making resin eyes again and it turned out as a disaster again. But yeah, I keep learning, guys. So, and now... Let's calm down and let's make a dress that would look like a real cute rainbow cloud. Okay, the rainbow cloud dress looks already beautiful, really absolutely adorable. Now I still want to make two sleeves and I want them to be very very puffy, very like curly shaped. So I will make them out of two big squares of fabric.
and this is how it looks very 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 cute I still might add some decoration to the front of the dress later but right now I have to speed up guys because it's already Tuesday evening like this week Tuesday when, the, when you are watching this video and this doll and the video must be ready before Friday I absolutely don't want to skip a Friday upload because there are some minor details are not finished or the video is not finished you know I'm working on this doll for over two weeks and this is really about the time to finish it up so we still have to make a pair of shoes and I still have to style her hair I will start with the shoes and I'm going to customize her original ones today because the base shape of them is absolutely perfect these are ideal basic shoes I don't really have to start from scratch this time I just want to remove this decoration from the platforms of the shoes and after this I will start painting them and attaching all kinds of cute decorations
So, and here are my super colorful fruit shoes. They look completely different from what they were before. Really love them. Very original, kind of. So, now I want to attach the same bow to the front of the dress. This is the last missing piece of the outfit. And after this, I will style her hair. I've decided to go for two pigtails because she looks so young, sweet and innocent, so I think it's a good choice for this doll. So now I just want to make her hair a little bit more curly to add more cuteness. And while her curls are cooling down, I can attach the false lashes, so and after this we will take a look at the end result pictures. So and here is finally the end result of my hard work. I feel like we went from rainbow high to rainbow primary with this makeover. Before she was such a sassy fashionista and now she is a cute little girl at her 10th birthday party. You know guys, three days ago I was almost sure I would not be able to finish this doll. Or even if I was able to finish it, I would hate the end result anyway. Because I was really so upset after I got all these bubbles in her eyes. And it really seemed like nothing could change the situation. I kept working on it just to see where I could end up with it. And you know, right now I really love her. I was smiling from her cuteness all the time while I was making pictures of her. Because she's such an adorable tiny thing. I don't know, I'm still not happy about the resin of her eyes, of course, but since there is no way to change it without destroying the entire face, let's just neglect it for today, please, guys. It's gonna be better the next time. Yeah, and there probably will be the next time because I've bought two more of these dolls because I really love them and because now I feel really super challenged. So the next time I will try to make her eyes in a different way. And I also have four regular size Rainbow High dolls that I've got as a gift. So I hope you like Rainbow High dolls because there will be quite a lot of them this year. Well, and if you don't like Rainbow High dolls, also don't worry because the next video will be Monster High doll makeover in a collaboration with my mom. So stay tuned. It will be in two weeks normally because I will take two days off now after finishing this big and a little bit exhausting project. And then on Monday I will start a new one. Please don't forget to submit your drawings for my 600,000 followers contest. All the details are in my previous video and I'm also reposting artworks on my Instagram stories. This contest really inspired me to go back to Instagram, so subscribe there as well. It's also Pop and Atelier there. Well, and of course, subscribe to my channel and support my art here with your likes, because it's really important, guys. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in two weeks, normally on Friday, with another beautiful doll repaint video. Maybe it will not be beautiful, who knows? <laughs> we will see. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.